Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through how to take a 3D model in 3Matic into an iBook. So we're going to go from 3Matic, seen on the screen here, to SketchUp, to iBooks Author. So if we go into 3Matic, I'm going to work with my model of the L3 and L4 vertebral bodies. Now, currently we have these separated out, and for the purposes of being in an iBook, they don't really need to be separate models. So I'm going to start by merging them, and this will make them just one entity to deal with. Okay. You can rename that to L3, L4. Could change the color if you wanted to, but it won't stay once you get to SketchUp. So the biggest thing to think about is the number of triangles. So we notice here there's 957,000 triangles. iBooks author doesn't really like it if you have a model more than 50,000 triangles. It will probably give an error message that won't really indicate the reason for the error. So it's important to know you need to have your model less than 50,000. So the way we're going to do that is with a reduce function. And that's a function that just reduces the number of triangles. The geometrical error, bigger the number, the more it reduces the number of triangles. And it's kind of a process of trial and error. So we have 0.25 as a setting right now. Let's apply that and see how much it reduces it. So you can see right now, you know, the quality of it reduced a lot. It's a lot smoother, a little blockier. 33,000 triangles. So we can do a little bit better than that. So I'm going to undo So now we have L34 back the way it was. And actually I'm going to make a duplicate of that. L3 L4 duplicate. And let's let's do the reduction on the duplicate. So, the entity we're reducing is the L3 L4 duplicate. That was a little bit too much, so let's do 0.2. See how many triangles that gets us. Similar appearance, 40,000 triangles. So we can try 0.18. I'm going to undo that. Reduce L34 duplicate, 0.18. Alright, so 45,000 triangles, and I think that's good enough. Um, if we want to make it look a little smoother, as it was reduced, we can apply a smooth operation to it as well. That might make it look a little more natural. I think it did. Let's see what that did to the triangles. Didn't really change it much. So 45,260. Now we're ready to put that into SketchUp, and the way we're going to do that is by importing an STL file. So we're going to export an STL to the desktop. I'm actually going to call it L3, L4, for SketchUp. All right, and the scaling factor is going to be one to one. Change the color again. and we'll export it to the desktop. So now we come into SketchUp and this is kind of the default view. I like to delete the person. So if you select them, erase them. Now we're going to import the STL file. Now in order to be able to import STL files, you have to install an extension and you can just search for uh, SketchUp STL import, and there will be instructions on how to be able to import STL files. So I'm going to find L34 for SketchUp and import that. See down here, importing geometry. <clears throat> and it does take just a second. All right, so it imported. So you can actually click this button here 
and it will sort of center your object right where you were looking. And you see it's a, a white model right now. Now you can color your model. So I'm going to edit, select all. Then I'm going to click the paint bucket. I've got kind of a tan color selected. And paint the whole thing. Just like that. All right. Now, if you want to not see all of those edges also, you can say not view the edges, just like that. So we're not going to do a whole lot in SketchUp. Basically, all we're going to do is export to a Kamada file. So we're going to export a 3D model, Kamada, type, and that's the DAE extension, and we'll call that L3-4 for iBook. I actually need to move that into my Google Drive so it syncs up to the other computer. So that'll be in the Kamada Files folder. All right, so it's all synced up now, and I have the Collada file on my Mac. And when you start up iBooks Author, you'll see the template chooser. We'll just pick the basic template, and I'll go to a page and insert a 3D widget. Then, with this inspector toolbar, you can open that by clicking that I button clicking on the widget and then clicking on this widget inspector section interaction tab I'm going to choose the 3D file so once we select the 3D file with the DAE extension click insert and there it is and now if you want to see it in action you have to preview it you can click preview And there it is in an iBook. If you click on it, it'll get full screen and you can manipulate it like so. So that's how it's done. Uh, just knowing the software to use that will work and the polygon limit will get you a long way and save you a lot of headache.